everyone, today I want to talk about organisation and how I stay organised because I'm currently living on the road out of suitcases at the moment. Some of these tips will help you if you're travelling but I really think most of them are applicable to if you're staying in one place as well. Welcome to my current temporary home, this is another Airbnb. It's pretty much like the last one, it just has a couch and a plant this time. <laughs> The first category of item I want to talk about is like makeup and beauty products because I have a lot of these and I like to keep them organised and travel with them safely so let's talk about that first. Before I left the UK as a birthday present to myself, I decided to buy myself some really nice organisational travel bags because I've bought so many cosmetic bags in the past that have just fallen to pieces and I felt like if I bought something a little bit better quality it'd be a bit more sustainable in the long run. Hopefully I could have these for many, many years. So I bought a few things from a company called Stackers. This is not sponsored, not gifted, I just really love these things and it's heavily influenced by my friend Helena who showed me this brand. She is one of the most organized people I know and she also really loves pink, probably even more than me. So I had to take her recommendation and get a few things. <laughs> what I really like about these pieces is that they have a lot of compartments and they also have hooks so that you can hang them up in the bathroom and you can see what you're looking for without always having to open the bag. There is something about well-designed organizational products that just makes me really happy and just, oh, I just, I love it. <laughs> Hi, me again, just quickly popping in with a word from today's video sponsor. As you might know, I have been doing a lot of traveling recently and since coming back to South Korea, I spend a lot of time on public transport so I love having a game that I can play on the bus or on the train and June's Journey is perfect for that. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game that takes place in the 1920s. You play as June Parker and move through the levels trying to solve the murder of her sister and unveil family secrets along the way. It's really fun to try and find all the objects in a scene and it's just a nice way to spend a short period of time relaxing in the evening too. I think one of the reasons I like this game so much is because it gives me the satisfying feeling of cleaning something up and making order out of chaos, which is part of the reason that I like organizing organizing too. The game is free to download, you can check it out using the link below if you'd like to try it for yourself. I highly recommend it because I really do enjoy it. You can see how much I've been playing it recently, I've perfected all of these levels. Link is in the description below, thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for watching it. Let's get back into the video. If I'm in a space for a while, I do like to take everything out of my bags and organize them in the bathroom. And what helps me the most is small boxes. So let me tell you about them. So in here, you can see I've got my aesthetic shelf, but I also have my everyday necessities. And what I wanna show you is this little box right here. This is mainly things I use daily that I reach for that are really small, so I don't want them to get lost on the sink. Contact lenses, Q-tips. Having little boxes like these really help me keep tiny things in order and they can still be used when you pack your bags to go home. I get most of my small organizing boxes from Muji. This one in particular is a business card holder and I think it's perfect for storing small hair ties and bobby pins. It fits perfectly into my travel bag because it's nice and thin, but it's also really handy in the bathroom too. I also use small boxes to store tiny things that are really annoying when they're just floating around the bathroom, like these things to clean my teeth. Didn't realize there was already a box that came with them though. Wait, they come with a box? Well, I'm gonna put it in my Muji box anyway, cause we're here now. I can put these in my handbag. Okay. Ugh. Okay. These are for my handbag. I'm a huge fan of Muji. I just love it for organization. Of course I had to have a little look when I was in town. Muji in Korea is 
awesome. So much better than the ones I've been to in London. I guess it's because we're much closer in proximity to Japan. So here we get all of the cool items like the furniture. Muji sells furniture. I didn't know this. Muji is so satisfying. I would go as far as to say that this is organizational porn. And you know what? I want my house to look like this. So that's how I travel with my products, but let's move over to how I organize at the makeup desk. This Airbnb has the best makeup desk ever because it has so much storage. At first, I thought it was gonna annoy me. I like to put my stuff away and not be able to see it, <laughs> but this does make me keep it organized. In here, I keep all of my hair tools. I've got brushes and heated tools, hairsprays, skincare and sunscreen, lots of different sizes of rollers. And then this, this is for all my clips. On top of the desk is where I keep all my everyday makeup and jewelry. You might have seen this before, but this is my favorite purchase I've made in a long time. This is a makeup box, but it lights up. So it's really good for doing your makeup. Inside, I keep all of my bigger makeup items and then I just flip the lid like that. It's amazing. I love this thing so much. You can buy this on Amazon, but I got it cheaper from Argos. This is just a little bit of my everyday makeup. Behind here, I have a mug, which I borrowed from the cupboard in the Airbnb. <laughs> but I like to have all my lip liners and eyeliners and brushes standing up so I can access them easily. That way nothing gets lost. And then this is my jewelry. This jewelry box was from Oliver Bonus a while ago, I don't know if they still have it, but they always do boxes like this. I keep all of my rings and small earrings here and my large earrings here. This is perfect for travel because it's quite soft, so it gives a lot of protection to all of the items that I keep inside. Moving around a lot is fun, and I have been staying in Airbnbs, but sometimes I find that it's harder to organize in a way that makes me feel really comfortable so I know where everything is. When I'm staying in an Airbnb for a long period of time, it's really important for me to get organized. So I'll find a space like this TV cabinet and I will organize my stuff. This might not look perfect, but the system works really well for me. We've got some clothes up here in these boxes. These are packing cubes, which are amazing for travel. And this is an Ikea box that I actually had in my suitcase to protect some items. I knew I could use it for storage when I got here. Over here, we have my camera equipment, my stationary supplies. This is a stack of books and paint because I want to do some painting. This is for exercising. At the bottom, I have my work laptop and all my paperwork, headphones, accessories, more stuff for work like stationary supplies, nails and hair things. And that's like miscellaneous things like my contact lenses. The boxes are also really important for me. You might be like, why do you need that, Hermione? But it just really helps me categorize the items into different themes so I know where to find something when I'm looking for it. If I can't find something, I get very sad and stressed and irritable. So for a couple of pounds, it's worth it. And before anyone asks, if you're wondering where they go when I leave, I either put them in storage at a friend's house, I might offer them to friends who will use them, or if it's just a few coat hangers, I'll ask the Airbnb host if they want to keep it. If you're in your own home and you have lots of old mix and match baskets, I don't think you necessarily need to go out and buy new ones just to feel organized. For me personally, I love everything to match but it isn't necessary. Another thing I like to do in Airbnbs is immediately put my clothes away. I have to have a lot of business shirts and things as well as my everyday clothes. So I need to get them up on hangers and Airbnbs are notorious for never having good hangers. So I did pick these ones up in Daiso and I'm hoping I get some good use out of them. I also like to put some kind of freshening pack in here to make the clothes smell really nice. And I've recently been using this fabric deodorizer. This gets rid of any funky washing machine smell. It smells really good, actually. So yeah, I like to organize my clothes first. You might also notice I like to hang up my clothes by color. And then within those color sections, it's by type. This way, I know exactly where everything is. 
And if I'm looking for something specific, I don't have to look for very long. When I'm traveling for a couple of days or overnight, I like to use packing cubes in my suitcase to pack my clothes so I can have different sections for pajamas, business clothes, everyday clothes, etc. I feel like they really stop my suitcase from looking like a hot mess by the end of the trip. And because I like to roll my clothes quite tightly, I do feel like perhaps that keeps the wrinkles at bay a little bit more too. And now onto my handbag, which honestly, hold on. I actually don't know what's in here right now. It's not looking too good in there right now. But I do have a handbag organization hack for bigger bags, which is perfect for traveling. This is a handbag organizer. It's made out of felt, but it's quite sturdy. You might have seen this in one of my older videos. I really love this thing. I actually forgot to bring it with me this time and I was very upset. I don't know how I forgot it. Like it's literally so important, but nevertheless. You can buy this on many online sites if you just search handbag organizer. But this thing really helped me keep a larger handbag tidy because it has so many pockets for different things. So it avoids getting little thingies lost in the abyss. <laughs> Part of the reason I think I forgot it this time is because I brought with me a laptop case, again, from Stackers. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Wait till you see the inside of this. This is brilliant for organizing. There's a padded pocket for my laptop, a space for my phone and for pens. And this thing, this is a little clip and you can put cables in there and then they won't unravel in your bag. It has one secret pocket here and a not so secret pocket here. It has elastic so you can put all kinds of cables and things in here. I love this. You can even turn it into a backpack, I think. I haven't tried it to figure that out. The only thing about this is that the zip is not great. I don't know if I overfilled it or what, but it looks fine right now, but it does sort of come undone and then I have my bag flapping open. Good thing I'm in Korea. People rarely steal stuff in Korea. My laptop would be gone in a second in London, but in Korea, you can leave it in a cafe on a table for hours and just come back and it's still there. I'm not gonna try it. I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. But just know that that's a thing that you can do here. Did I show you how I organize all my cables and camera equipment? I think I need to show you that next. This is never ending, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just really like organization. This is my tech and camera equipment. And once again, this small pink bag is from Stackers. I am obsessed. This is my everyday kind of stuff, like my SD cards and the things that I reach for quite often. I also have small Muji boxes for all these little adapters because every Apple product has to have an adapter these days. It's really annoying, really rather annoying, but I managed to squeeze everything in here. So this is easy to throw into my bag if I want to take it with me. Okay, this is my camera bag, the one bag that I haven't upgraded yet to be pink. And it's also not as aesthetically pleasing, but this is all my excess cables and things that don't go in my everyday computer bag. But what I wanna show you in here is my hard drives because I label them all with the year and what's in them. This one's the stuff I'm currently working on. I don't love this bag because it's a little bit floppy, so it's not very sturdy, but I do think the cushion gives a lot of protection for all of my equipment. But yeah, that was probably from eBay or Amazon or something. Okay, with that, I'm going to wrap this up for today because although I could talk about organization for the rest of the day, I'm not gonna put you through that. And I also don't wanna to have to edit a five hour long video. At some point soon, I really wanna share with you how I organize things digitally because that is how I run my everyday life. I'm very passionate about my digital organization. So I will save that for another video. Thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna find out more, check the link below. And thank you so much to you guys for watching this video. And with all of that being said, I hope that you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.